Hello and welcome to today's how-to video on creating mechanisms. Let's get started by taking a look at a brand new tool in SpaceClaim 2010, the Anchor Tool. To create an anchor condition, select a face in any component and then hit the Anchor Tool. This will create a condition in the structure tree under that component. The Anchor Tool will fix a component's location and orientation to the world origin. You can no longer translate or rotate this component. Like all assembly conditions, you can toggle this with the checkbox in the structure tree. Let's bring in another component to check out an align condition. I can create an alignment between the two axes on these components by selecting the axes and hitting the Align tool. To see this Align condition in action, I will select the component in the Move tool. Then I can rotate around this axis. I can also move the component along the axis. But I can't move off of the axis because of the condition I created. A third assembly tool is the tangent tool. By selecting two planar faces and then hitting the tangent tool, I can create a tangency condition. Now when I attempt to move the crank, I only have one degree of freedom along the rotational axis. I can no longer translate along the axis because of the tangent condition. All assembly conditions are placed under a component in the structure tree. I'll bring in another component here and repeat some of these steps. By selecting two axes and hitting the align tool, I would create an align condition. Then, by selecting two planar faces and hitting the tangent tool, I create a tangent condition. I can then move the component along one rotational axis. The align and tangent condition pair used this way is a great method for creating cylindrical joints. I can show the fourth link for my four bar linkage and then begin assembling it to the crank and rocker. I'll use align and tangent conditions again to position the link. While it wouldn't hurt to do so, it is unnecessary to create a second tangent condition on this link between the link and rocker, so I'll only create an align condition there. I've now finished assembling this 4-bar linkage with my assembly conditions, and I can drive it using the move tool. Notice that when I have only one degree of freedom, the move tool should reflect that by only highlighting one axis. To look at a few other assembly tools, I have a partially set up assembly. There are already some conditions in place here, and I'll go over the rest. To start with, we'll look at the rigid tool. By selecting two faces in separate components and hitting the rigid tool, we create a condition which will lock their relative location and orientation. Rotating or translating one will rotate or translate the other in turn. I can also use the orient condition to say grab an edge and axis and have them face in the same direction. Notice that the components move to fit this new condition. To maintain contact between two cylindrical faces, I can again use the tangent condition. At the same time, I can add a gear condition. This will link rotational transformations in one gear to the other. Now I can rotate the crank and watch the whole assembly move. 
Using these six assembly conditions, you can create many different mechanisms. By creating gear conditions between cylinders of different radii, you can create gear trains. The gear ratio is the same as the ratio of the two radii. For more information on assembly conditions and further examples, please check the in-application help. Be sure to also check out the assembly reference chart, which gives a rundown on all the different combinations of selections that can be used to create assembly conditions. Thanks for watching.